Welcome back to another episode of Jake's Meditations. Today I am going to be answering questions or a question from Reddit. I browse the forums of Vipassana and meditation on Reddit and I see so many people asking these questions. I thought I would take the time to make videos answering these questions from my perspective, my opinion, my journey. So take that as you will. The question that I see getting asked on the Vipassana forum is how long is the minimum I can meditate for? Can I do less than an hour? It seems a lot to do an hour in the morning, an hour in the evening. In the beginning, the hour in the morning, hour in the evening seems like a lot of time. There are so many conflicting views on this, so many people question it. From my perspective, after meditating for nearly nine years now, I start to see that it is very important. And Goenka even states that in the first year, try your hardest to maintain that hour in the morning, the hour in the evening. The reason is, if you're meditating for 20 minutes, it has its benefits. But if you're training your mind to be more peaceful and equanimous, the real training starts in like the, after half an hour towards 45 minutes, it gets really tough and your mind really doesn't want to be meditating. It's asking, when's the meditation over? When can I stop? I'm getting really annoyed or anxious or fidgety or there are pains in my back or legs. And these things get aggravated the later on in the meditation. So those last 20 minutes in the hour are the time to really train your mind to be equanimous with those reactions. So if you're just meditating for 20 or 30 minutes, you're not getting to the real tough part of the meditation that trains your mind the hardest. I guess it's like staying in the gym when you're tired, when you've done your half an hour of pull-ups or press-ups or any kind of exercise. At the end of the gym, the last thing you want to do is stay in the gym for more. I would say do as much meditation as you possibly can. If you are practicing Vipassana and you've done a course and you're questioning whether or not you need to do the hour, it is very important because you are developing awareness all the time that you are practicing. There is an end goal and also if you think about it, at some point your mind will come into equilibrium and you will just become awareness. Eventually, rather than worrying about the hour, it will just be a nice peaceful sit. And eventually, you won't even need to sit at a very high stage. You will just be mere awareness. Just everything will be in your awareness. So sitting for meditation will almost be pointless because you are in that space and state of mind all the time. From what I can gather and um, from what I've heard, I might be completely wrong, but I think that is the truth. It's the truth for me. And I can see glimpses of times when I don't question what's happening and, and whether or not there's long left. But the mind will always try and get you out of meditation. It doesn't want to be trained. It doesn't want to be tamed. So yes, the hour is important. And I highly recommend persisting with it and seeing that battle with your mind, seeing how it goes and just trying your best to overcome it. So my two pence worth on the hour long sit that v Vipassana meditation requires you to do morning and evening. Just so you know, I am considering doing a 20 day course uh, in a few months time so I am gearing up for it. Uh, it doesn't feel too different to a 10-day course for my mind now but we will see 
how it goes for me getting closer and closer to the date when I will be going in for 20 days of silence. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has given you a little bit of help and a little bit of encouragement. And hopefully I can answer some more questions next time. Thank you very much. Peace, peace, peace.